This is a patient who presents with dysphagia, and we did an esophagram to further evaluate the etiology of this. So we give contrast, we have a few uh, still images of the upper and lower esophagus, and then we have the cine clips of the patient swallowing in real time. And you may start to appreciate that uh, there's a bit of a filling defect in the esophagus. It's rather large. You can see over here that uh, quite a large filling defect that's spanning uh, really the upper to, to at least middle aspect of the esophagus and uh, even the distal aspect as well. And so a few subsequent swallows to try to delineate this. On this image, you can see beautifully this large filling defect in the esophagus. And uh, the contrast, however, does get through to the esophagus and across the gastroesophageal junction. I like this image, a still image of this really large, almost pedunculated sort of appearance of this mass that's occupying uh, the majority of the esophagus. This is a nonspecific finding, but one of the things to think about is this entity of esophageal fibrovascular polyp. Now, these are rare entities that uh, arise typically from the upper esophagus, can grow quite large, and these patients will present with dysphagia. There are also in reports of them presenting with asphyxiation as they regurgitate this large uh, mass. And it's uh, thought to be a submucosal mass, can be quite pedunculated and extend uh, inferiorly. This patient happened to get a CT scan, and some of the imaging appearance that had been described on cross-sectional imaging is that you may sometimes see foci fat within this. And as you look at this lesion, it's quite a large lesion occupying the uh, esophagus. You can also see that uh, there are some uh, foci of fat within it. This was resected, and this indeed turned out to be an esophageal uh, fibrovascular polyp.